Hello friends, as part of Velocity Platform Essential Series, today we will be discussing on Velocity Data Adapter Turbo Extract. Today we will be covering what is Velocity Data Adapter Turbo Extract, what are the advantages and limitations around Data Adapter Turbo Extract, what are the use cases, and finally, how to call Data Adapter Turbo Extract using Apex class. So my name is Suresh Unjari and welcome back to my channel, Learn Velocity. If you are keen to learn more on velocity related stuff, please subscribe to the channel and press bell icon for upcoming notification. So let's get started. So what is Data Adapter Turbo Extract? Data Adapter Turbo Extract is again a, a data mapping tool wherein it helps us to retrieve and filter data from Salesforce object. So, um, so here catches that it it only allows us to extract or pull a data from only one object at a time. Right? So because of this, uh, uh, it, it has a simpler in configuration and it provides a better performance at runtime. So why better performance at runtime? It's like we we will always dealing with one object at a time. So that's where it helps us to uh, perform a better way. What is the limitation? So limitations, it's not about limitations. The, the, the 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 way a, the data adapter turbo extract is created only you know in order to deal with one object at a time and yeah so it does not support formulas and a complex output mapping so uh, let's go ahead and uh, see uh, what is the difference what are the difference between data adapter turbo extract and data adapter extract so uh, in terms of supported object Data Raptor Extract supports main object as well as a related object, whereas Data Raptor Turbo Extract it supports only object at a time. At it, so uh, mapping tool. So Data Raptor Extract has extract and output tabs are separate, wherein in Turbo Extract both are within extract tab. So what it does is you can se uh, select which object you want to pull the data and its respective output fields. You can select within the extract tab. So uh, again, uh, in data wrap extract, we have formula tab available for you know small amount of transformation, wherein formula tab is not available in data extract. Performance wise, so uh, data wrap extracts is deals with main object and its related objects. So uh, as it's dealing with related objects, so compare uh, comparing uh, this with data extract, the DR extract performance is a bit slow. Uh, whereas uh, data adapter turbo extracts mainly deals with one object at a time and so that's that's where the performance enhance will come at runtime so i have connected to the salesforce app so what we'll do is we'll create a new data adapter turbo extract and we'll test it Interface type I will select as a turbo extract and I will keep it as input and output type as JSON at this point. So as, uh, as I was mentioning earlier, for turbo, turbo extract data adapter, we will be not having formula field and output mapping uh, tab right formula formula tab and output mapping tab so whereas in extract tab itself the output map uh, tab you know details will be you can provide it here so let's go ahead and select the object we are working with account i will store extract output path and account node and uh, this filter you know so on which field of the object you want to filter using this query right so you can select that at this point we are doing count id equals i'll, I'll store a query parameter count id and here uh, uh, there are uh, two ways to select fields into you know uh, this one one is through search and other is directly you can select it
so I have selected a few of the fields now and here uh, the related objects right so it will show uh, it's, it's not about uh, the child object or parent object it is about you know the owner and all that details uh, you can get it from this related object right so let's get one of the owner name right Right. So uh, let's go and review it once. Uh, before that, so option is like you know this is uh, common across all the data adapters wherein we can use uh, what type of cache you want to use. You can use that and fill level secret and all that stuff we discussed in earlier videos. So uh, let's go ahead and set the input parameter. Here it goes the uh, query param field name what we are given here, right? Uh, account ID it's the account ID and we have to give the account record ID so let me take it from here let's go ahead and execute right so uh, here all the required details it is showing up properly and this is related to the owner ID field what we have uh, asked right here the owner right this one yeah this way we can uh, we can get the the required field in the turbo data adapter, uh, turbo extract data adapter and it will be quick um, you know the the form is it is a faster so now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and call this turbo data adapter or turbo extract data adapter using apex method so uh, this is my this is my apex class wherein we'll uh, earlier we have looked into you know uh, the extract data adapter calling extract data adapter from apex method similar fashion we will create other method and which we'll use for turbo extract data adapter So uh, I'll be using the the created I mean user created snippets which I have for a DR. I'll be using same and we'll replace the we'll replace the data adapter name there. So it's a DR account turbo extract. right so we have provided the dr name we have provided the uh this one uh, where we are using this ns uh, the insurance package right so we have to provide that if you are using communication we it has to be cmd right now uh this this uh, dr uh, is looking for two input parameter one is the param uh, query param name and what is the value which has to pass from column method right so what we'll do is we'll pass these values from this method all right Let's deploy this. It's been deployed. 
uh, we need to call this method from anonymous window let's prepare a data before executing it so uh, in this method so we instead of call dr extract we should be using call turbo extract dr the account id should be right okay, let's connect to to check our debug logs So we have a class name, we have a method name, and we are passing account ID as the input parameter and value to the input. Let's execute it. It, it, has, it is executed successfully. Let's check the debug logs. Right. Uh, if you look at this, Let me open in just some viewer. So it has account number, ID, industry, name. Uh, owner records type and all so same thing will be available here so this is the way we can call our dr from apex so uh, for extract and turbo extract and uh, for transform even transform the calling dr from apex as is the in, in the same fashion we can call it so for data lock load it is a different Thank you for watching.